Okay, so Jennifer, we are up to uh, six, eight, ten business closings, or ten school closings right now. Really? Who else was uh, So it? it's uh, Walton Verona is closed. Okay. St. Henry Elementary is private tra transportation only. That's new, along with St. Joseph. So closed are Pendleton, Kenton, Boone, Bracken is still on a uh, one-hour delay, and Lewis County closed. because a little bit of snow out there. Our photographer, Adam Look Schran, who's this. providing these pictures, sent in messages saying, hey, cars are able to drive through it with no problems, but he's advising definitely take it slow because roads are packed, caked, as he said. He said yeah. stopping the live truck was not the easiest thing. The ABS went off at less under 25 miles an hour. So the, so. Um, with the call I got from the school system said specifically it was untreated roads in, in the southern part of Kenton County. Which, no one expected this to happen. You well, know. and technically, this is really being enhanced by the smokestacks out at Lawrenceburg. I've never heard we, of this. We don't forecast for smokestack <laughs> snow. I'll be completely honest. So explain this. Okay, so... We had a lake effect setup. Northwest wind was bringing that cold air with a little bit of flurry activity into the tri-state. And look at the air that it's running into. So we're at 16 degrees. There's no doubt that any moisture would come down as that light snow. We even have a wind chill right now at two here in Cincinnati and three below in Wilmington. But what happens is that little flurry upstream, and you can see what's happening near Hidden Valley or even out toward Perfect North. They're getting flurries, but then it runs into the smokestack where you have all that moisture coming up, being added to the atmosphere, and as it continues to move to the southeast, it just dumps snowfall over the same location. I put this in loop earlier and for the last three hours, it's been the same spot. So you can see out toward Bulletsville and Francisville, Hebron. Uh, guys, the big boss lives right over in Hearish, so we'll have to call him to see what his yard looks like this morning. I know his kids out are out of school today too. And then from Oak Brook down through Union, right there along US 42, following along I-71, 75 on the side of the road, now completely snow covered. And then from Richwood as we continue down past Walton and Verona getting into Piner. The snow continues, but guys, again, it's you can see where the smokestack influence begins and then it continues in that straight line thanks to the wind flow. Now, there are also some other very minor lake effect snow showers happening up in Clinton and Highland counties, but there it's not as big of a deal because you're not getting that extra boost of moisture like those in northern Kentucky. So Wind flow and extra moisture all man made this morning is uh, making things a little more interesting in some spots. Everyone else, I have weather watchers north of town, they're like, what snow? Exactly, because it's just down there to the south and especially southwest of town. 12 is your morning temperature, 26 degrees will be our high today with plenty of sunshine, but tonight, it's going to be cold again, down to 13, just a few clouds. Wind direction, though, tonight will be from the southwest, so no more mystery surprise snow showers for tonight's forecast. The wind direction won't support it. And then tomorrow, high of 38 degrees. It's actually a nice Saturday outlook compared to the chill of today. It'll be a little milder, mostly cloudy and dry, but Saturday night into Sunday, this is what we're still monitoring, but I want to give you that latest look. And Steve and I have been, you know, writing notes back and forth and texting each other about this one because originally it looked like a really good snow chill. Chance. But over the last 48 hours, warmer air kept creeping in. And here now in the tri state, it looks like this should mainly be a rain system for us going into Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, but it would be Sunday night. That's where we could see some quick snow showers mixing in behind this system to give us some light accumulations going into Monday morning. And Monday's high will end up at 31. Let's get out to the roads this morning where, Jacqueline, you're starting to see some issues.